Welcome back, Odoers. My name is Jose Ignacio. In today's video, we're going to take a closer look at the Employees app, specifically how we can see the status of our employees. Sometimes we need to know who is working and if they're currently active in the database and where they're working from. All of this information is referred to as presence control. So let's jump in and see how it works. In our previous video, we briefly discussed these colored icons that happen to be in the top right corner of all of these employee cards. Today, we're taking a closer look at what they tell us. Each icon in its color tells us the current status of the employee and where they are working. A house icon, like the one over here above Audrey Peterson, indicates the employee is working from home today. An office icon, such as the one that we have over here above Anita Oliver, tells us that they're working from an office today. And if we hover over it, it happens to tell us, like for Anita Oliver, design office second floor. And that's pretty interesting because an airplane icon means, as you guessed it, they are out of the office, such as Doris Cole, and they're using time off. It's important to note that the airplane icon is always used for time off, whether it's sick time, vacation time, or any other type of time off. Now that we know what the icons indicate, let's discuss the colors. We've seen a couple colors. There are three different colors for these icons and what they can be, and they each mean something different. Green means the employee is currently present and active in the database. We go to somebody who's green, like good old Mitchell admin over here. This tells me right now Mitchell is actually in the main office and is currently signed in and actively working. Orange means the employee is either idle or absent, such as what we could see with Doris Cole up above. And that could just be that they happen to be inactive in the database or, you know, they've not signed in for work at all. I can tell from this orange airplane over here that in our case, Doris is not going to be anywhere nearby, so I'm not going to expect them to be signed in or working at all. Either way, now that we know that they are idle or just gone altogether, I shouldn't expect a response if I message them. So another color to talk about is, let's talk about the color gray. And that means it's currently outside of the employee's working hours. Now this tells me, if we look at Eli, that they were scheduled to work from home today, but right now it's outside of his working schedule. He's part-time and only works in the morning. So that makes total sense right there. Okay, now that we got all our info and it's great to know, how do we get it to appear? For that, I'm gonna go to configuration and settings over here. Okay, great. So this top section is all about employee presence. I already have both, in our case, presence display and based on attendances and based on user status in the system, activated. Based on attendances up above means the actual colored icons are determined by the attendances application, which is what is used to sign in and out of work. Think of it as a cloud-based time card for employees. So based on user status in the system is what it sounds like. The color is determined by whether or not the user is signed in and if they're active or not. Over here, we have our advanced presence control feature. Enabling this allows managers to change the status of their employees in the system. But we'll look at that in a few minutes. This also allows for more specific criteria for the employee status. Beneath this, you'll notice there are a couple options. If I ticked, based on number of emails sent, this presence control condition field appears right below it. And in this field that we have down here in the bottom left, I need to specify the number of emails that need to be sent every hour to have the employee labeled as active or green. Since most employees don't send emails on a regular basis and instead work in the factory, building furniture, this option isn't that great for my specific company. So we're gonna untick it again. If I tick this based on IP address function over here, a presence condition field appears over here where I can specify all the IP addresses my company uses. If an employee is logged on to any of the IP addresses specified in this field, they will be considered present and active in the system. I'm going to actually enter two of them. One, two, three, dot, four, five, six, dot, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And then we're going to do one more. Okay. And then we're going to do five, five, five. All right. And remember, these have to be separated by a comma. Thanks, Sodu, for reminding me with that little sentence right there. All right, with this configuration, anytime an employee is online using one of these IP addresses, they will be labeled as present. And last, we have this remote work option right there, and it's active. This allows for that house icon to appear on employee cards when they're scheduled to work from home. Don't forget to click save in the top left-hand corner to save any changes, oh doers. Okay, now let's say I'm the manager of the furniture sales department and I wanna check on my team. When I'm inside of the employees app, I can see who's working and who's not, but this dashboard isn't super helpful as it is. So to see who's working, I'm gonna click into the search bar, filter by at work. Great, now we can see who's working. 
But even further than that, I want to know where they're all working at. So we're going to group by work location. Great. Now would you look at that? Now I can clearly see where everyone is working today. And it's helpful to know who's working from home, as we can see in this big list over there. So I know not to stop by Anna's desk. I should message them instead. Oh, and would you look at that? I actually just got an email requesting I send one of our carpenters to the furniture pickup area. Because a customer saw an issue with, you won't believe this, a broken chair leg. We're back to those. And they want to see if it's a quick fix. I'm going to remove the work location grouping over there. And instead, I want to group by job position over here. I'm going to click out of that right there. All right. Now I think we need to pick a carpenter. I need Oliver because you're the first one on the list. She's always wonderful. Let's send her a message. Go to the pickup area ASAP. Perfect. That was super fast. Okay, let me show you another awesome feature. Today, I asked Brenda Jones, one of our sales reps, to visit a high-end furniture boutique to see if they could start a working relationship and possibly sell some of our pieces. I asked them to go there before they even had the chance to sign in, so I know they're working, but they're not going to show up. They're going to be absent. That's not a problem to fix. So first, I'm going to return to our dashboard by selecting employees and employees. And then, once again, I, at this point, need to select this... Let's go do our list view and switch. And the search bar, I'm going to once again group by, in our case, job position, close out of that. And then I also need to do the presence and absence. And this is going to do something cool. Now when I expend these job positions, I can actually see who is absent, who is present, and if it's outside of someone's working hours. Let's expand the sales rep one. As you can tell right there, let's select absent. Just as I said, I see Brenda is actually absent, but I sent her to the boutique. So I need to mark her as present. So to do that, check the box up there, presence control in the top center, and set presence. And voila, now they appear. Even though she didn't get a chance to log into work, I was able to do that. So let's close this now. Okay. Keep in mind, you can only change an employee status when you are in list view. The presence control button does not appear in any other view. Now, wait a second. I see some of our carpenters happen to be out now that I was just talking about that. Interesting. I see some of our carpenters are out, but I specifically scheduled a safety training this afternoon and everyone needs to be present. I need to ask why they are not here. For that, I'm going to now at this point take a closer look at this absent list. And now I'm going to select all the employees by clicking on the employee names right there. Okay. Next, we select presence control once again. And this time, we're going to do send a SMS. And this is the default message, but I am going to mention the training. So at this point, let me paste that in, hood doers. It's a big old little thing. Okay. And then we'll put that at the end. All right, once that we're done with all that, we can hit send now. Tisk tisk. I hope they can come in or at least let me know what's going on. I'm upset. And hood doers. That's actually it for this tutorial. We configured our presence control, learn how to see who is working and from where, which is also important. And even better, how to better view our employee statuses and even how to change their status and contact them. And that's pretty cool. Thank you for watching and tune in to my next employees tutorial where I'm gonna dive into departments and organizational charts. I'll see you next time. Go grab a snack.